Good morning, Jordan. Welcome to Culture Buzz. Welcome to Israel. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? What brings you here? Where you come from? What you do? Sure. Um, well, I'm here for a uh, exhibition. There's an exhibition of my work that's going to be at the, a gallery in Tel Aviv, Rothschild Fine Art, and I'm also here to teach a workshop, a painting workshop in Jerusalem. So there's a group here that's uh, for about five days. We're painting, learning about uh, landscape painting and uh, abstraction, and uh, uh, some of the folks I've known for quite some time. I've been uh, I moved back to the States about 10 years ago, and I lived here for about 10 years before that. I lived in Jerusalem and Harnof. Not Harnof. Nataf. The Nataf. The Nataf. So you lived here for a while, and I know you mentioned your father was Israeli as well. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit about how your experience living here, or stories from your father, might have impacted on your life, on your work, how maybe the cultural exchange here and working here differs from living and working in the States? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, when I came here in 92, I had been out of grad school for about a year, and I was uh, putting my work together, you know, was after grad school was a time of uh, thinking about or just working, finding my way with my work. And uh, being here uh, at that point, uh, made a significant difference in the development of my work. Um, the uh, the atmosphere here, the light, the uh, the energy uh, is very different than anything I could find in the states. It's um, so the way the light functions, the way it affects what we see. Uh, the energy here, the presence, the uh, strong, and uh, so that the way I developed as a painter was in relation not just to my own work with myself or my own history, but what's, what I found here, that it affected the way I made a painting. Uh, the kinds of things I looked for, the kinds of ways I would literally make a painting, the edges of things, the kind of tonality. Uh, and how about if we widen the scope out of the, uh, the formal um, work of painting in terms of interactions with people, the way of uh, approaching both work and life here as opposed to uh, back home. You were mentioning a story about your father yesterday in dealing with challenges. Oh, yeah. Well, that was... Uh -huh. All right, so one final question. Um, you've been living and working in the States and teaching in the States for a while now. Yeah. Uh, after this trip, of teaching and showing, what would you say you're going to bring back with you that might feed your creativity or that will stay with you when you're working in the state from your experience here? Oh gosh. Look, there's something here and it's not there. Or it's there but I, it's not so easily found. Maybe it's maybe somewhere underneath. Uh, it'd be nice to be here and paint, really. And it's not so much to bring it back there and, and do the work. It's just, it'd be nice to be here and paint. I miss it. I well, we hope you come back soon then. Yeah, me too. Okay. All right, yeah, sure. Thanks for your time. Okay.